Let's have a look at question one in this video. So we have a market demand for bananas by this function, and then we have also the market supply over here. Now in the first question, we want to find out the price elasticity of demand in the equilibrium point. So the first step is to find out the equilibrium point and then compute the elasticity over there. So what is the equilibrium point? We know that the quantity demand must satisfy the quantity supplied in the market. So that means that 200 minus two times the price, which is the quantity demanded, must equal to 80 plus P, which is the quantity supplied. So 80 plus P. Let's take the numbers on one side and the quantities on the other side. So 200 minus 80 is going to be equal to 120. And then P plus 2P is going to equal to 3P. So the price in equilibrium is going to equal to 120 divided by 3, which is equal to 40. Now what's going to be the equilibrium quantity? Well, we could substitute the equilibrium price in either of the quantity demanded or supply. Let's say we substitute it into the quantity supplied. What's that going to be? Well, the quantity in equilibrium will be equal to 80 plus the price, which is 40. So 80 plus 40 equals to 120. Now we found the data in equilibrium. With this in mind, we can calculate our elasticity of demand. What is the elasticity of demand? That's the price in equilibrium divided by the quantity in equilibrium times the derivative of the quantity demanded function with respect to price. Okay, so let's, uh, let's substitute all these values. We, we have them already we will have that the elasticity of demand is equal to the equilibrium price, which is 40 divided by the equilibrium quantity, which is 120 times the derivative of the quantity demanded function. Well, that's just going to be the slope over here in the quantity demanded function, which is equal to minus two. So that's going to equal to minus two. And now if we work out the math over here, what do we have? 40 divided by 120, that's equal to one over three. 1 over 3 times minus 2, that's equal to minus 2 over 3. So minus 2 over 3 is going to be the elasticity of demand that we are looking for. And now, how do we interpret this elasticity of demand? Just to make sure we understand the concept. If price increases by 1% in the market for bananas, the quantity demanded of bananas will decrease by 2 over 3%. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we'll keep going with other questions.